Once upon a time, an important advisor to a certain king was on his way to a meeting with the king and other advisors. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw a dead mouse by the roadside. He said to those who were with him, Even from such small beginnings as this dead mouse, an energetic young fellow could build a fortune. If he worked hard and used his intelligence, he could start a business and support a wife and family. A passerby heard the remark. He knew this was a famous advisor to the king, so he decided to follow his words. He picked up the dead mouse by the tail and went off with it. As luck would have it, before he had gone even a block, a shopkeeper stopped him. He said, My cat has been pestering me all morning. I'll give you two copper coins for that mouse. So, it was done. With the two copper coins, he bought sweet cakes and waited by the side of the road with them and some water. As he expected, some people who picked flowers for making garlands were returning from work. Since they were all hungry and thirsty, they agreed to buy sweet cakes and water for the price of a bunch of flowers from each of them. In the evening, the man sold the flowers in the city. With some of the money, he bought more sweet cakes and returned the next day to sell to the flower pickers. This went on for a while, until one day there was a terrible storm with heavy rains and high winds. While walking by the king's pleasure garden, he saw that many branches had been blown off the trees and were lying all around. So, he offered to the king's gardener that he would clear it all away for him, if he could keep the branches. The lazy gardener quickly agreed. The man found some children playing in a park across the street. They were glad to collect all the branches and brush at the entrance to the pleasure garden, for the price of just one sweet cake for each child. Along came the king's potter, who was always on the lookout for firewood for his glazing oven. When he saw the piles of wood the children had just collected, he paid the man a handsome price for it. He even threw into the bargain some of his pots. With his profits from selling the flowers and the firewood, the man opened up a refreshment shop. One day, all the local grass mowers who were on their way into town stopped in his shop. He gave them free sweet cakes and drinks. They were surprised at his generosity and asked, What can we do for you? He said there was nothing for them to do now, but he would let them know in the future. A week later, he heard that a horse dealer was coming to the city with 500 horses to sell. So he got in touch with the grass mowers and told each of them to give him a bundle of grass. He told them not to sell any grass to the horse dealer until he had sold his. In this way, he got a very good price. Time passed until one day in his refreshment shop, some customers told him that a new ship from a foreign country had just anchored in the port. He saw this to be the opportunity he had been waiting for. He thought and thought until he came up with a good business plan. First, he went to a jeweler friend of his and paid a low price for a very valuable gold ring with a beautiful red ruby in it. He knew that the foreign ship was from a country that had no rubies of its own, where gold, too, was expensive. So, he gave the wonderful ring to the captain of the ship as an advance on his commission. To earn this commission, the captain agreed to send all his passengers to him as a broker. He would then lead them to the best shops in the city. In turn, the man got the merchants to pay him a commission for sending customers to them. Acting as a middleman in this way, after several ships came into port, the man became very rich. Being pleased with his success, he also remembered that it had all started with the words of the king's wise advisor. So, he decided to give him a gift of 100,000 gold coins. This was half his entire wealth. After making the proper arrangements, he met with the king's adversary and gave him the gift along with his humble thanks. The advisor was amazed, and he asked, How did you earn so much wealth to afford such a generous gift? The man told him it had all started with the advisor's own words not so long ago. They had led him to a dead mouse, a hungry cat, sweet cakes, bunches of flowers, storm-damaged tree branches, children in the park, the king's potter, a refreshment shop, grass for 500 horses, a golden ruby ring, good business contacts, and finally, a large fortune. Hearing all this, the royal advisor thought to himself, it would not be good to lose the talents of such an energetic man. 
I too have much wealth, as well as my beloved only daughter. As this man is single, he deserves to marry her. Then he can inherit my wealth in addition to his own, and my daughter will be well cared for. This all came to pass, and after the wise advisor died, the one who had followed his advice became the richest man in the city. The king appointed him to the advisor's position. If you found inspiration in today's story, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more tales of wisdom from the realms of Zen. Until next time.